Hello friends, this is MGTV, the Brain Break series. I'm your host, Belusionist and Mega Magician, Magic Gareth. This is the show where I will show you magic. You learn how to impress your friends, challenge yourself, and unlock your own magical mind. This is MGTV, the Brain Break series. Hi everybody, welcome to my place. This is the inside of what I call my magic emporium. So thanks for joining me today. Today on MGTV, the Brain Break Edition, we are going to blow our minds with some domino magic. And I'm going to show you a very special bag that can actually solve a mixed up Rubik's Cube. You are going to learn a very cool trick with a cocktail stick or a straw. I'm going to show you a puzzle using 10 coins. You're going to need a few bits and bobs like uh, hmm, one of these perhaps. Yeah, actually 10 coins, 10 individual coins if you have them. It doesn't have to be coins though. You could use crayons, ripped up pieces of paper. You will need fling, a cocktail stick. But it doesn't have to be a cocktail stick. You could use a chopped up straw. The size of my head, actually. It's not much smaller. There, between my eyes and my mouth. And <laughs> sellotape. Doesn't have to be this big. Any tape will do. Before we go any further, press the subscribe button now because you do not want to miss the updates and bonus features that you will get by subscribing to my channel. Let's do a magic trick. Should we do a magic trick? I think we should do a magic trick. Let's do a magic trick. Here's a fun trick that you can try at school or at home. All you need is a piece of white paper and a black marker pen. Check it out. On this side of the paper, there are six dots. And on this side, there are three dots. Uh, but on the other side, there's actually only four. And on this side, there's only one. I'll show you again, just in case you missed it. On this side, I've got six. On this side, I've got three. On this side, I've got four. And there's only one dot so on this side. Have you figured it out yet? Well, let me reveal the secret. Because I actually have only five dots on this side. Look, oh. if I open up my hand, you can see underneath that there is no dot. But if I cover up that side, it looks like six. If I cover up this dot here, though, it looks like four. Okay, you see? So really, you only need to do five dots on that side. Now, what about the other side? How many dots do you think are on this side, really? How many? Exactly, okay, so I've only got two. So if I cover this side, it looks like one. If I cover this side, it looks like three. Okay, pretty good. Now. If you're paying close attention, how many dots were on this side? Exactly. If you do the magic, you see there's actually six. You shouldn't really show that side. I know. And what about on the other side? How many were on the other side? Was it two or was it three? <gasps> Unbelievable. Now, for the final flourish, I don't know how we do this bit. Eight. <laughs> Eight. I don't know. Uh, try it at home. Try it at school. I don't know. See if you can figure it out. I'm not seeing it. Magic Gareth's useless skills. Today, stacking four dice in a cup. Completely useless, but fun to watch. That was Magic Gareth's useless skill today. The vanishing toothpick. Watch this. One, two, three. And it vanishes. But wait a minute, I can see it floating through the air. Look. Hold up the toothpick and show everybody just like this, okay? The vanishing toothpick goes and it vanishes completely. And you can even show your hands so fairly, okay? Now to bring it back, you grab it like that. The secret is hidden behind my hand. I'm gonna show you, there it is. A piece of sellotape is sticking the toothpick or cocktail stick to my thumb, the flat part just above my nail. And when I'm vanishing it, I'm just sticking my thumb straight up behind my hand, okay? 
to start the trick, you curl your thumb, cover up the sellotape and the, the end of the toothpick. Okay, so it looks like you're just holding up the toothpick or the cocktail stick. Show it to everybody, and when you want the magic to happen, you slow, well, you quickly, I'm gonna do it slowly. You quickly open up your hand, and the cocktail stick just disappears behind the thumb. Magic, do a magical gesture. To bring it back, you just reverse the process, so bend your thumb, there it is, cover up that bit there. So all in together, you're doing this, okay? So one more time from the top vanishes in front of your eyes and comes right back. A little bit of stage manipulation there for you. Yep, something to practice when you're at home or in the break. Don't use anything too sharp. Snip the top off if you want to. Uh, you can do it with a little plastic stick. Uh, you can do it with a twig if you wanted to. Anything long that you can stick behind your thumb with a bit of sticky tape just like that. And that's how you do the vanishing cocktail stick of destiny. A Rubik's Cube magic trick. And, oh yes, it's an empty paper bag that says Magic Gareth's birthday party magic show party bag. Uh, okay, I want everyone to find their favorite color on this cube, okay? Find your favorite color. Once you've got it, I want you to really remember it. Don't forget it, okay? There's six different colors, six different sides, and all you have to do is mix it up to make it solved, okay? One color on each side. But I can't do it. I do have the empty magic bag that can. All you need to do is find your color, right? Now, I'm going to put it in the bag. When I put the cube in the bag, everybody point at the bag and spin your fingers round and say the magic words. Higgledy Piggledy. And the cube, or just your color, will solve, okay? You ready for this? Everybody start spinning your fingers. Find your color. It's gonna go in the bag. Now, it's in the bag. It's in the bag. I can feel it solving. Oh my goodness, that's it. Spin your fingers, everybody. Spin your fingers. Higgledy Piggledy. And the magic is done, look. The cube is now solved. Ooh, look. All the colors, every single color has finally been solved. You are really magic. Now, I know what you're thinking. Maybe he could reverse the process. Yes, I can. I'll take the solved cube and put it back in the bag. All you need to do is mix your finger like that and it will mix up the cube. Okay, so, going back in the bag, start spinning your finger, everybody. That's it, spin, spin, spin. Very Higgledy. good. And the cube has now returned to its original state of being mixed up. Thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the magic. No, the bag is empty, okay? There's one mixed up cube and an empty bag. Why? If the bag wasn't empty, why would it say empty bag on it, hmm? I'll, I'll show you, I'll prove it to you. There's nothing inside, there's nothing inside. Look, I'll, look, turn it upside down. <laughs> See? Nothing inside. Ha ha ha, I told you. Seriously, it's real magic, you did it. All I've got is a mixed up cube and an empty bag. That is all I've got. I've got a mixed up cube and an empty bag, okay? There's nothing in the bag, the cube is mixed, and the bag is empty. Look. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, fine. Did you all see inside the bag? Yes? Okay, fine. I cheated. If you thought there was another one in the bag, you got it right, okay? There was another one in the bag. Okay, let's take that one out. And for those really paying attention, this. Is a squishy, <laughs> it's a squishy cube. Okay, but this cube is actually mixed up and the bag is now totally empty, okay? Just like it says. This time we do real magic, okay? I'm gonna put it in the bag. When you see it disappear, point your finger, spin it round, think of your favorite color and say the magic words, higgledy piggledy, and hopefully we'll be able to fix it, okay? You ready for this? It's going in on the count of three. Ready, think of your color, got it? Ready, it's going in. Now, that's it. Start spinning your fingers, everybody. Start spinning your fingers. That's it. Spin, spin, spin. Say, higgledy, piggledy. Higgledy, piggledy. And the cube is now solved. You need to see. I know. Okay. Think of your favorite color. Check it out. Slow reveal. All your favorite colors are all solved completely from the empty magic bag. You did the magic. You are fantastic. Have a great day. Thank you so much. I don't know how you did it. I can never play with this Rubik's Cube ever again, though, because I don't actually know how to solve it. Hmm, interesting. All right, see you in a second. It's puzzle time. Grab yourself 10 coins, put them on the table, and make a little triangle. Ignore the banana, that's not supposed to be there. Now, this triangle is made up of 10 different coins and it's pointing upwards. 
here is the game. All you need to do is move three individual coins to make the triangle point downwards. You might be able to fool your friends with this one. So, only moving three coins, the triangle starts up and I want you to make it face down. Now pause the video if you need to, grab yourself 10 coins and a banana, and let's get ready to learn. And here is the solution. Eat the banana. Then point at the top point of the triangle. Now you take that and slide it all the way to the middle at the bottom. Now take the most left coin and slide it up to the side. And then take the right hand coin and slide that up to the side. And if you notice, the triangle's now pointing down. Congratulations, you all get 10 points. Well done, everyone. Well, I hope you all managed to learn something interesting and magical today. Try and fool your friends next time on MGTV. You will need to bring with you a dry wipe pen the type that you would use on a whiteboard, a saucer, or something shiny that can hold a little bit of water and it's quite flat, like a saucer and a little bit of water. There you go, don't forget to hit subscribe, follow me for more magic, and I'll see you next time for Magic Gareth TV, the Brain Break series.